I think we all know that spring is traditionally the busiest time of the year for the real estate market. But if you've been thinking about putting your home up for sale, is there a week within the spring that's better than another to do that? And the answer is yes, there is. And it is fast approaching. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you what that week is. And also, if you stick around to the end, I'm going to let you know which upgrades or improvements are the most common to be done before you list your home for sale. Let's dive into that right now. Hi, this is Andrew with the Andrew Smith team of EXP Realty here in Frisco, Texas. And spring is upon us. The real estate market here in Frisco is getting busy once again. And it is that time of the year when people normally start thinking about selling their homes. Now, we all know that the last couple of years in the market here has been crazy. And many of the normal rules have just gone straight out of the window. But if there's one thing that's held true this year is that some normalcy is starting to come back. We aren't seeing crazy bidding wars, although we are starting to see multiple offers again. And overall, things are somewhat returning to normal. So with that in mind, it's also the time that many people start to consider putting their homes up for sale. So if you're going to do that, when should you actually do that and why? Well, traditionally, the goal of most sellers that I've met is to sell your home for the highest possible price in the shortest amount of time. And in order for you to do that, you need a couple of things to really take place. Number one is the less competition you have when putting your home on the market, the more likelihood that your price is going to be higher. And with that in mind, that goes with demand. And as we know, mortgage rates have played a huge role in this. Mortgage rates soared from the middle of the summer last year. They were climbing, climbing, climbing all the way up to the beginning of November. And they've actually been extremely volatile over the last month. But in the last seven to 10 days, mortgage rates have been ticking down again, and it has caused an increase in activity, a flurry in activity, if you like. Mortgage applications are up, and more buyers are entering the marketplace. But this time of year is also when more sellers start to come on to the market. So according to the experts at Realtor.com, the week of April 16th to 22nd is what they're expecting this year to be the best balance of housing market conditions to favor home sellers. So if you've been thinking about putting your home up for sale, the week of April 16th to 22nd could very well be the best time to do that. Now, again, if you can't make that exact week, completely understandable, not a problem whatsoever. But why that week? What is it about that week that they're forecasting could be the ideal blend? Well, let me show you really quickly right here. Now, if you've seen some of my videos before, you'll know that this is from my weekly Frisco market report. And there's just a couple of things on here I want to point out. First and foremost, this right here, this market action index acts as like a speedometer. The further to the right, the higher this number goes, the more favorable conditions are for sellers. Last week, that number was 55. This week, it is up to 61. Give you an idea, a year ago, it was pegged right at 100. The market couldn't be any hotter as we know. But as this goes up, the conditions for sellers improves. And again, one of the things I just mentioned before is it comes down to inventory. Having buyers that are active in the marketplace, which we have right now due to the drop in mortgage rates, when inventory is low. So let's take a quick look at inventory. So here, this is the seven-day rolling average of inventory. And as you can see right here, last week, we had 156 homes for sale on the market. This week, we're also at 156. We had been steadily falling. So it looks as though right now we're going to bottom out with regards to the number of homes for sale. And this should start to tick up. And as you can see, if we look at April 
um, or this week in March 2022. That is when it, it actually started ticking up a little bit earlier last year. In 21, inventory was so low, it almost didn't apply. 2020 didn't really follow. It started to kick up, but then we had the lockdowns of COVID, so everything plummeted. But we go back here into uh, 2019, and you can see you know, right in February is when inventory actually started to pick up. So it's a little bit lagging behind this year, but we're at a point right now where all the ingredients are right in order for the inventory to have bottomed out and start to increase right as buyer demand is increasing as well. Now, with that in mind, you want to make sure that you have your home in the best overall condition to attract those buyers. Even though inventory is low, the homes that sell quickest and for the most money remain the homes that are in the best overall condition. So what are those improvements that you want to make before putting your home up for sale? And I did want to say right before I go through this list, if you're in the area and you're considering selling, that's one of the services that we offer. Uh, I will do a complimentary walkthrough of the home, give you a complete recommendation of everything that I see and what I think needs to be done in order to maximize the sales price of your home. And it could be anything from as simple as some just some touch-ups and improving some landscape all the way up to possibly considering some remodeling work. And with that in mind, I actually do have partner companies that I work with that will actually come in and take care of a lot of this work for you. And they don't have to be paid until closing. So you don't have to front the money up front. So just keep that in mind if that would be of interest. So with regard to those updates, so I can tell you the most common ones that are done. And this list that I'm going to be reading from here is very, very accurate from what I have found. So curb appeal is often overlooked, but vitally important. So updating that front landscaping, getting rid of all the dead that existed over the winter and getting some fresh spring flowers in there is a great idea. Next comes paint, following up whether it's just touch-up paint or a complete repainting of interior or exterior. Following that, it comes down to appliances. Buyers really key in on appliances. I remember when I sold my last house, it was funny, I ended up changing out a cooktop and a, a, a dishwasher right before I sold. And it was like, well, I've been meaning to do that forever and now I'm not going to get the benefit of it. But it makes a huge difference. Roofs here are very important. It's going to get called out on an inspection. So if you're not sure if your roof needs replacing, it's a good idea to have it inspected. Following that, it's your major systems, HVAC, hot water heater, things like that. Then it comes down to minor things, minor maintenance items, you know, cleaning or replacing cracked or very dirty grout, along with caulking in those base moldings or crown moldings or areas around tubs in showers that have split. Those minor maintenance items make a huge difference in the eyes of a buyer. So again, I offer a walkthrough service for anyone thinking of selling your home. So please feel free to make use of that. And for anyone that I am working with on selling your home, also know that we offer a staging service. So I will actually have a professional designer come in and help make sure that your home looks its absolute best for when photographs and video are taken so that we can market that property effectively. All right. So in the description below, I have a link to my calendar. Please feel free to book a time with me or a call. I'd be happy to do that with you. And also I've got a link to my spring 2023 home sellers guide. So if you're thinking of selling your home, take advantage, get download that guide. It's full of useful tips and information. So hopefully this has helped. And if you have any questions whatsoever, please don't hesitate to reach out. You can email me at andrew at theandrewsmithteam.com or feel free to give me a call at 469-296-5230.